So this is my last video for tonight. Um, I want to say something before I read this and before I show this. It's about drugs. Heroin to be specific. And it is a damn shame that what I'm going to read you happens more often than it should. But before I read you this, I want to tell you a tiny story. I knew a girl who was on heroin who died at my father's house, but we revived her. We got her help, and they saved her life at the hospital or whatever. No matter how, what you're going through, you can get help. And drugs are not the solution to anything. I've seen the bad things that drugs can do. I've seen the evil that drugs do. I've seen a young, beautiful girl on heroin drop dead in the bathroom at my dad's house. I miss her. And if she's out there watching, don't worry, I didn't lose your name. And I hope that you reach out to me and hit me up on Facebook or whatever. Heroin is a drug that not only takes everything from you, it causes you to do very bad shit. People always talk about how bad weed and crack and stuff is. But there are harder drugs out there that make people do really sh stupid shit. I've seen people lose everything because of weed. I've seen people die because of heroin. And I don't support drugs. I won't take medicine unless I absolutely have to. I can be in pain. I can live with the pain. With the, except the exception of my hip pain. And I had no choice. I had to take that because that was just the way it was. But what I'm about to read to you is disgusting on every level. And I apologize now. And to the girl I knew who was on heroin, I hope you're fine. I hope you're taking care of yourself. And I hope you've learned this lesson. And above all else, if you need a friend, I'm always going to be here for you. Reach me on Facebook until I shut the stuff down. But before I shut it down, if you need me, I will give you my number. But I'm not going to leave your name out here. You know who you are. I know who you are. And know you have a friend in me for life. All right. So let's get on with this so I can go to bed. Woman sentenced to life after allowing drug dealer to rape her 11-year-old daughter for heroin. That's what that says there. Here are these two disgusting human beings. Alright. I would never want to be the 11 year old girl of this woman. Because she let this man take her virginity. The little girl is going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. So I'm going to read this now. I'm going to try to get through here without um, going straight ballistic. Alright. So Hamilton County Grand Jury indicted a mother and a drug dealer this week on charges that they traded an 11-year-old girl for drugs. Officials say 32-year-old April, I cannot pronounce her name, but I'm going to spell that shit out for you. C-O-R-C-O-R-A-N. From Pleasant Plain, pleaded guilty to rape and human trafficking in June. Prosecutors say she gave the heroin... God damn it, I'm sorry. Prosecutors say she gave the girl heroin numerous of times as a reward and drugs always made her vomit. Prosecutors say that the lady with the C name would take her daughter to the man in exchange for drugs, leave her with him, and return later. Each time she was forced to perform different sex acts with him in an attempt to reward her daughter for performing sex arts, excuse me, sex acts, the mother forced the girl to take small doses of heroin, and that's just disgusting, against her will. The investigators have identified the man to be Shandell Willingham. I might have said his first name wrong. S-H-A-N-D-E-L-L -L, Willingham. He faces charges of rape, gross imposition, and trafficking of a person. I hope he gets life, too. Judge Lizzie Gertz, I think that's how you say it, I don't really know, but I'll spell it, G-H-I-Z, sentenced the woman, 51-year-old, I mean, excuse me, to 51 years to life in prison. The girl's grandmother spoke out in court according to the WKRC saying, I viewed the tapes and I saw my granddaughter and I heard a small voice. It was horrific, very horrific. How could she do this? How could she do this? I don't know if my granddaughter is going to be able to have a normal life. 
No shit. The defense presented the opioid abuse expert did not sway the judge. They did not sway the judge. She um said that she had no she had, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm all kinda choked up about this. She heard that the woman asked her daughter for forgiveness. According to Judge G H I Z, the young girl is living out of state with her father and said to be suicidal and on medication. She's fucked her daughter's life up. She deserves every bit of that fifty one years that she has done. Um, it ends there. Believe it or not, because I started scrolling down for what's left, and there's nothing left. I also had posted that on my Facebook page. Um, you know, I don't understand how anybody could do that, and at the same time, I do know that drugs will bring out the worst in everyone, and drugs will make you lose everything you have, everything you hold dear for a hit to get high or whatever. Which is why I've sworn off drugs. You know, if I don't have to have medication, I'm not going to take the damn medication. I'll live with the pain. I'll suffer. I'll do what I got to do, but I'm not doing the drugs. And no way in hell would I want to be the person who sells my daughter or any of my children for a bump of drugs. A bump, a hit, a swig, whatever. We as people have to do better. We have to protect our children. And sometimes we have to protect them from ourselves. Get help if you're on drugs. No matter the drug. Weed, heroin, whatever the hell you're doing. Smack, crack, torpedoes. Please get help. I'm James Williams Jr. Just come for number two. I'm greatly upset. And I'm sorry about that. So before tears start streaming down my face, uh, I'll be seeing you guys later.